Hi, you reach uh, Jonathan Tallman and Nate Tucker with Hot and Cold Reviews, and today we're going to uh, do a review on Oblivion. Oblivion is a science fiction thriller starring um, Tom Cruise, Morgan Freeman, and briefly Melissa Leo. Um, this movie just recently came out. It got a lot of hype at the box office, so we decided to review it. Basically, this movie does a very effective job at boring you into oblivion. This movie is, you look at the acting and you see stereotypical, you see setup. You look at the scripting, you see corny one-liners, let's finish this, it's time to get done, blah, 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 bullshit. All you see is bad, 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 bad. Then for like two seconds, you see Melissa Leo, she does a good job. You see Morgan Freeman, he does a pretty good job. And then it's back to bad, 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 bad. Oh my gosh. I mean, I, I'm sorry, Nate, but when you go into this movie, you know it's a science fiction. You know it's going to be a fantasy land. You know what, what it's about. I mean, it's set up in 2077, uh, 60 years from basically what it is today, and how Tom Cruise and his you know wife or girlfriend uh, are set at um, fixing drones, and these drones basically uh, fix uh, and protect the... Um, resource centers or the energy centers that they used for uh, an alien or the place that, that they call on Saturn on the Saturn moons because they said there was a world war that uh, basically blew up the moon and there was a fight and a battle and people had to go to Saturn and uh, and move on with their uh, with their lives and of course they're har um, harvesting the resources and the energy of what they have right now so I mean <laughs> I, and yes, okay, you got to give it that. The movie was creative. I feel like it was based on something, so I probably can't even give it that. A book. I don't really. Okay, so it's based on a book, so you can't even give it creativity. So the whole movie shit then. Basically, okay, so in terms of basing it on the book, you have to give the book something then, because the book did a good job of being creative, because this movie was unique. In terms of the suspense, and in terms of like the middle part of the movie where there was a mystery about, because there's a twist, and you know there is, but you don't know what it is yet, and there's a mystery on that twist. That part was good, but the whole beginning, because, okay, so all you have is a mystery. That's all you have is mystery. And obviously the mystery is not going to go through the whole movie, so the rest of it has to be good. You have to care about the characters. You have to see that they're real people. They have to have emotions. This was a bunch of, the, the performances were as wooden as the drones that they were fixing. They literally sucked ass. The script followed directly with it. I, and see, as a, f a fantasy guy and as a fiction guy, I, I totally disagree with that. I mean, I'm not. It it it, it mesmerized you with you know the special effects that they had as yes. far as it did the, do that. Uh, it was good special the beauty effects. of that. It was filmed in Iceland, mm -hmm. and I mean the beauty was awesome of it. Uh, I like the storyline. They kind of even opened it up for a sequel as well too, of course, if they want to go out there uh, with it. So uh, I did like that aspect of it. Um, I I would like to. If they do a sequel, they got to answer more questions on it. But um, I, mean, I disagree. What happens? Okay, so take a horror movie for instance. The scariest part of the horror movie is when you haven't seen the bad guy. As soon as you see the bad guy, the movie's over. You're not scared anymore. So don't answer the questions. Keep it the mystery and end with the mystery too. That's what makes the movie good. That's what this movie failed too. They kept the mystery for like maybe thirty minutes, and then the rest of it was bad acting and bad script. But, but who and you know a bunch of special is? effects that um, this what this movie did is it panned to the stupid and uh, small-minded that like explosions and good special effects. Had no depth, no substance to this movie. I kept looking for something. I kept, I got my hopes up in the middle part of it because the middle part of it kept you in, enthralled. You knew and you weren't going to get that. And then it back down again. You knew you weren't going to get that. That's not true. For, it to, for instance, take superhero movies, right? They mostly suck. Why? Because you have to go into it saying, oh, it's a superhero movie. It's supposed to have action. No. Dark Knight, all the Batman movies had so much substance, so much emotion, and they because you knew the backdrop of Batman. I, I didn't even know about. I never read the comic books. I didn't know anything about Batman. Please. I just watched most him as, people know Batman. Pe people but that's know not why. Superheroes. It's because he put the emotion in the movies. This movie did nothing. It was it was uh -huh. literally it was a drone. It was one big drone going along saying explosion, explosion. Please pay ten bucks for the movie. I I totally disagree. I I liked it. If you're a fantasy guy, go see this movie. Uh, I agree. If you're a fantasy guy and you're small minded, go for it. <sighs> You know what? <laughs> anyway, anyway, we we are hot and cold reviews. Um, out of out of five stars, I would give it um one and a half because I do have to. 
one and a half to two because I would I would have to give it for the special effects. Melissa Leo for the tiny ass part she was in did a good job, and um, Morgan Freeman, you know, he always does a good job. So you have to give it for that the special effects and the storyline, which was copied anyway, was still good because I guess I guess you have to credit it for it anyway. Two out of five stars, I'll give it. Two out of five. Uh, unlike my colleague, if you're a fantasy buff, uh, go see this movie. See it in the movie theater so you can enjoy the special effects as well as the, the sound system that comes with uh, you know the technology of seen in movie theaters. I gave it a 4.0 out of 5.0. I'd be really interested to see if they come out with a, uh, another sequel to it. Again, thank you for visiting uh, uh, and watching us on uh, Hot and Cold Reviews. I'm Jonathan Tallman. This is Nate Tucker. Uh, we'll see you at the movies. Peace.